head in before she can knock. And, well, she stands there watching Taurus for Shake. a moment. She's watching him for a moment. He's just shaking. Pulling just, out his hair. You know, close to tears, but not in tears. Shaky breaths. Yeah, he's just freaking out. Yeah, he is really nervous. And, you know, she's about to... She raises her fists a little bit to knock on the door. Mm -hmm. Or at least tap on it. Uh, you know, invite herself in. And is that Derek again? Probably. <laughs> I am getting a text message, which is why she asked that. That's the second time we mentioned Derek on the podcast, by the way. Yes. <laughs> but in any case... Alright, let's... Uh, what does he say? He asks what we're up to. <laughs> <laughs> well, in any case, Take, let's tell, keep... Tell, tell him we're talking about him. <laughs> let's keep let's keep going. I'm just going to be texting while I'm talking. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she comes in after he invites her in, saying, "I know you're there, demon." And she goes around. And when she actually sees his face, she sees nothing but terror in his eyes. Yeah. It's like his eye, he hasn't been crying. He's just but his eyes are bloodshot. Out. He's freaking out. He has not. Then tells her like you know he has, he doesn't feel. He's, it's like just. Absolutely horror stricken, and she's never seen like this. He's always so cool and collected, and even if he's not, he feigns that he is, and he's not even hiding it. And he always hides it, and he's not even trying to hide it. Not even bothering. It's, it's like it's almost like he doesn't even care anymore. Yeah, it, I guess from Taurus's point of view, now that Ice is mm, gone, excuse me, so now that Ice is gone, you know why bother? Well, not really that. It's just, you know, with Ice gone... Well, I'm talking about hiding his emotions. Right, right, right. I'm not talking about bother going on with life. I'm talking about just hiding how he really feels. Right, right. Mm. And, you know, he also at some point, like, tells you, like, you know, if anything happens to me on the battlefield, please take care of the others. And, of course, Demon accepts. I mean, this is like... This is huge. It's like... Almost like a rite of passage mm -hmm. or... Well, okay, that's not really the right term. Well... Um, Not for what I'm trying to get across, anyway. Uh, um, this is more like, you know, pretty much like asking... A nomination of power? Not just that, but, you know, like, let's say someone is going off to war, or someone has cancer or something like that, mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, if I don't make it, please take care of my family. That's basically what yeah. the kind of scope it is. Mm -hmm. I forget what that sound is. I have no idea. I can't even hear it. I don't know that little sound. Mm. It's, it's, not, it's not really annoying. It just, I just wish I knew what it was. Yeah. It goes like that sometimes. Mm. Um, so, I, do you think we pretty much got the whole thing with the scene with Taurus done? For the most part. I I can't think of anything else to add at the moment, so let's move to a different scene. What scene do you want to work on next? Uh, we could do Connor. We could talk about Boomer a little bit. Um, talk about... Oh, yeah. Did Boomer. we agree on Boomer? Uh, we have not mentioned him in recordings yet. We just thought of no, him this the afternoon. Because I know you wanted Pyro, but I wanted Boomer. Well, no, I didn't say Pyro. You didn't? I said Nitro. Nitro. Right. I said, well, that sounds too much like Johnny Nitro from WCW. Well, Johnny Nitro sucks ass, so... So it's Boomer it is? We'll, we'll figure out for sure on the name Wasn't later. Wasn't it Boomer the name of the seagull and the rescuers done under? I think so. Oh, that was Orville. Never mind. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen that movie, so... You know, you can't really trust my memory on that one. Yeah. Um, but Boomer was basically... When he first... When she demoed... This was before... He was around when Demon joined, but he was dead by before Mark showed up. But it basically, Demon asked what Boomer what he does, and I blow shit up. Yeah, it's like interesting name. What do you do? I blow, blow shit, shit up. up. That fits. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I kind of imagine Boomer looking like Bradshaw. <laughs> oh yes, the old Bradshaw though, the not the long, pussy Bradshaw. The, no, no, like the long. Well, that's JBL, but you no, know, the long stringy hair, the little handlebar mustache. Yeah. Maybe a, little tough. Tooth, maybe a little toothpick in his mouth. Hmm. Always has a toothpick, even though he's never eating. He has yeah. a toothpick in his mouth just because. Just chewing on like it. Like Scott Steiner. Wait, who wasn't it? it was, uh, who was that guy who had a toothpick, toothpick in his mouth? I think Scott Steiner. No, it was did Razor that. something. Wasn't it? It was who? Wasn't it Razor something? Razor Ramon? 
Yeah, that was Razor Ramon. Yeah, always had that. Uh, had that in the Scott stupid, Hall. Yeah, that stupid little curly thing in front of his head. Yeah, Scott like Hall. Pubic hair. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the medicine's wearing off slowly. Yeah, slowly but surely. Don't want to take my medicine yet, though, because you don't want to make it too soon. And oh. I just sent the reply to Derek. Did you say we're talking about him? No, I didn't say we we're talking <laughs> about him. I said we were working on the story, which we are. True. Slowly. But surely. That and talking about Scott. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. my, my computer's being turned off for a second. But we're still recording, so we're all good. Yeah. Um, so, Boomer, I can imagine Boomer and Demon being good friends with her love of things going boom. Yeah, her love of fire, of yeah. course. Which is also why she likes Connor, among oh, other things. Oh, yes, that's one thing that initially attracted her to Connor as far as, you know, having something in common. You know, it's like, hey, I love fire. Hey, I breathe fire. <laughs> wow, we have so much in common. Oh, <laughs> uh, not quite that Disney. Have you seen my Not sixth quite toe? That uh, <laughs> what sixth toe? I see exactly. no sixth toe. Uh, that's an inside joke from earlier on the car. Yeah, I know. I was I was talking as demon. Yeah, but anyway, um, but Boomer, I can imagine like kind of like you know, uh, you ever see that movie Journey to Atlantis? Journey to Atlantis, which um, one? Or something about Atlantis? It was that by that nerd who. Has they get a group of different people and they go to Atlantis? Oh, I know what movie you're talking about. There's that one guy who likes about. to blow shit up, and there's like the mole thing. I know who, which movie you're talking about. Like, I can't look, think of look, the name like, of look it. Look at this big structure. It was taken like a hundred years to put it together, and you're boom, and the thing falls over. It's like, look, I made a bridge, and took what three, four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I know what movie you're talking about. It's that Disney movie that yeah. Atlantis. Yeah, Journey to Atlantis. Or whatever it was called. I can't. I don't think Journey to Atlantis was the exact title, but something, it was something Atlantis. like. It was something about that. But, anyway, I can imagine Boomer like Boomer like that guy, except without the annoying accent. Oh, yeah. Or the desire for a flower shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wasn't that dude French? Uh, he had some kind of, he's like, he, I don't know, he, he talked like Ray Romano. Well, anyway. Mm. Let's move on. But we were talking about Boomer, though. Yes, we are talking about <gasps> Boomer, but let's get off that movie. Who do you think killed Boomer? Uh, well, it can't be Cassandra, because that was before she came around. It could have been the, uh, two acolytes. And yes, I will. I don't care about the Kyra or not. It was, it was Hades and Ares. Maybe they ambushed him. Yeah. That's... And it was out, and it was after that, that Taurus didn't allow any human to go away, go away without at least one other person with them. Yeah. But Arden, you know, looking back on it all, Arden has not killed anyone. He must have killed someone. He's been around for like almost 200 years. Well, I'm talking about in their group. Oh, yeah. Well, he probably would if he had to, if he got a chance in battle, but he's never got close enough to kill anyone in battle. Well, he's, you know, not to take anything away from him, he's been in some pretty vicious fights. He could have burned down the house. Yeah, many times. Yeah. But, you know, we went into that either earlier or the uh, or the last car. night. It was in the car that we talked about, the uh, burning down the house. But he no singing. he chose not to because, you know... He didn't think that was fair. That and, you know, what with the humans and, you know, him and Demon have... Somewhat some, of a... Somewhat of a fr Acquaintance, if you will. A mutual respect. Yeah. I would definitely not call it a friendship at this point. No. Maybe eventually, but they... Maybe after the, maybe after the whole thing's said and done. Yeah, but they definitely have a mutual understanding. They're not going to go, like, holding hands, tiptoeing through the daisy patch. <laughs> Can you imagine Arden doing that with anyone? La, 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 la. That's not Arden's style. He makes her little crown of flowers and puts it on her head. <laughs> Don't make me choke. I'm sorry. I'm drinking a cherry Coke, by the way, which another is why sponsor, I said that. There's another sponsor block. Brought to you by Art Hearts. Art Beats. Art Beats, not Art Hearts. But Art Beats is a nice little coffee shop in El Dorado. El Dorado. Arkansas. El Dorado. <laughs> we pronounce it El Dorado here in Arkansas. Tomato, tomato. Bite me. Not my type. <laughs> I'm everyone's type. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we did it again. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Okay, back to the story. Are we still talking about Boomer?